the previous post we talked about how to create nested paths in Next.js. Now let's discuss how to make dynamic pages. Creating dynamic pages is more important than ever. Next.js, a popular React-based framework, provides developers with an easy and efficient way to build such pages. Using details page into the news folder will work if we have only one item in the news page, but that is not the case. We would like to access the details of every item in the news page, and there may be plenty. We will need to access domain.com slash news slash news1 or domain.com slash news slash news2 or domain.com slash news slash details instead of accessing only domain.com slash news slash details. Therefore, we will need to have dynamically changing path for the details. The dynamic file will be the same component technically, but with different content, and that is why hard coding the identifier for the details page is not really realistic. We will need a dynamically changing name like the identifier of the news. To make this work, we should use special syntax. The file should be renamed from details.js to id in square brackets.js. The name between the square brackets is up to you, but it is important to be in square brackets. Those are the one that tell Next.js that the file is dynamic. With this syntax, everything that will be opened after domain.com slash news like for example domain.com slash news slash news one will load this component. If we have square brackets in the file name that implies to Next.js that the component will be dynamic. Bye.